<laughs> All right, uh, recon, second trip back out here today. First one is what we saw. They gave us the PTC earlier this afternoon. Perhaps they find it a little bit better organized. We're talking about this area right in here. It doesn't look too good right now, but if they do, it will be Tropical Storm Raphael. There's that track and one, a couple of changes. This is a little bit further away from us from the earlier track, and then it doesn't get degraded as much. It's 75 mile per hour winds. Once it gets into the Gulf, that means it comes down a little bit, but kind of maintains that this is the loop current, very warm water right in there. And this is going to be moving through and over top of that. So the amount of heat that it can get from the ocean is going to stay high, at least initially. But then it, it gets up into more sheer and even cooler water. And you see by Friday, it's starting to fall apart a little bit. Here are the forecast models from this, and they are pretty much over the western tip of Cuba. And then they get up here. This is right around Thursday. And then look at that pretty hard shift to the west, northwest. So we'll see if that happens, but the bottom line is most of these are trending their, their way away from us, which is what we want to see. Now this is the risk for tropical storm force winds. That means 40 mile per hour winds are higher. You can see where the Hurricane Center thinks those are going to be. And in fact, look where we are over here with a 4% chance that we see winds of 40 miles per hour or higher. So again, not looking like this is much of our storm. This is the wind profile. Those are the tropical storm force winds by Tuesday near the Caymans. 60 mile per hour winds somewhere in there, but then near hurricane force winds right underneath there by Wednesday morning and through Wednesday afternoon. But look where the tropical storm force winds are offshore. This is also a smaller system. It won't get too much bigger. In fact, it probably won't get much bigger than that at all, which means it's not pushing as much water, which means surge is not a big threat for us either. This is not Helene. This is not Milton. There's wind shear, all these colors you see here, a little bit out ahead of it. Then watch what happens as it gets into the Gulf. Eh, it's trying to clear a little bit, but this isn't going anywhere. So even the folks along the Gulf Coast, if it does go in somewhere here, it'll be weak. And it'll be getting weaker as it moves on shore. Now, here's the forecast model that we have at the station here. And you can see by the time we get towards Tuesday at 11 p.m., it's near central Cuba versus western Cuba. This is where the Hurricane Center thinks it's going to be. This is what our model thinks. I'm showing you this because by Wednesday, we've got some scattered showers. In fact, to, uh, Tuesday really will start with scattered showers. But some of these will be a little bit heavier downpours at time. That's Wednesday at 2 o'clock. But look where most of the weather is. Center's here. Wind shear here is pushing all the weather off to the north and the east. That doesn't let this get much stronger. You can see we will get some scattered showers out of it. Small tornado threat, but even that might be further offshore. So a little soon to give you those details, but we'll be watching it. Wednesday, Thursday, scattered showers even start Tuesday afternoon. But Wednesday and Thursday, a little bit breezy, 20, 25 mile per hour winds. 